Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So today we will see the introduction to R programming. So this is also a programming language similar to our Python. So this was created by two others, Ross Ayaka and Robert Gentleman. So the name for this programming language comes with a starting letters of both the others so that's why we call it as an R programming and where we are using this R programming so mainly this this R programming is used in statistical computings and the representation of data in terms of graphs so mainly we will use the R programming for these two things so used in a statistical programming statistical computing or calculations and graphical representation of data graphical representation of data so this will be used for both the things right so here also our programming is also having a wide variety of packages so that we can make use of those packages and we can make use of a functions in that packages right so what will be included so our programming includes a normal operators for different computations so the first one is the operators for calculations or computations and uh, the control structures right to say the flow of control and functions to define the modularity and data handling techniques data handling techniques so there are a few techniques to handle the large amount of data and graphical representation graphical representation and also we will see a different tools for data analysis in order to analyze the data so there are different tools available in this R programming so we are going to see those tools for a different data analysis right so these are all things will be included in our R programming and now we will see the features, some of the features of R programming. So the first one is a platform independent. So that means once you write the code that can be run on any type of platforms, right? So that is a platform independent. So and the next one is an interpreted language. This is also most important. Interpreted language. So interpreted language means there is no need of compilation. So directly the programs will be interpreted. So instruction by instructions will be get uh, converted into the machine language. So example, uh, Python is also an interpreted language. Similar to that, this R programming is also interpreted language. That means, so if, if a program is having some uh, five lines, L1, L2, L3, L4, and L5, and if you are having some errors in line 3 and line 5, so once you get executed, if you execute this program, you will get only one error. It doesn't show the both the errors right it will show only one error at line 3 it doesn't show both the errors because this is an interpreted language though the transformation from high level language to the machine language will be done instruction by instruction that means line by line 
So where the first line will be get executed and immediately the second line will be get executed and whenever the, the interpreter try to execute this line 3, it will get an error and it will raise an error. So until this uh, error has been solved, the L4 will not be get executed. That means the line 4 will not be get executed. So at a time we will get only one error. So that we call it as an interpreted. Right. So here also we are going to write the program and we are, we are going to execute the program. But the conversion will be done by using a line by line. Right. So there is one more feature. And this is most suitable for implementing the machine learning operation. So suitable for implementing machine learning operations. Machine learning operations, right? And also this uh, our programming is having a wide variety of packages. Large number of packages are available. large number of packages are available example so there are some packages like uh, ggplot plotly right so some string r so these are all different uh, package packages so uh, the r programming that means uh, only the default packages will be available once you open the r console and whenever it is required, so we need to install the packages explicitly, right? So only the default packages will be available with the R console, right? So, so there is an option of uh, installing the packages, so we can install the packages whenever it is required. So this is all about the introduction to R programming. So mainly it is used for a statistical computing and the graphical representations and mainly the data handling techniques and uh, tools for data analysis and this is mainly used for most suitable for implementing the machine learning operations right so uh, we'll stop here in, uh, in the further sessions we'll continue with the more in depth with the concepts right? hope you understood so let's stop here and uh, if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.